hizo ya maandalizi ya mkutano wetu hiyo ndio mada ya neno la Mungu ya usiku wa leo maandalizi ya mkutano wa maombi preparation of a conference for prayer tunapozungumzia maandalizi when we talk about preparation tunakuwa na kusawazisha ama kutengeneza there's a preparing or organizing tunapozungumzia maandalizi when we talk about organizing tunakuwa na kukosoa there is a correcting kukosoa mambo ambayo hayako vizuri tuyafanye yawe vizuri correcting things that are not going well so they can be made well tunapoongelea maandalizi when we talk about preparation tunakuwa na kufanya vizuri zaidi there is a doing perfect yale ambayo tulikuwa tunafanikisha tuyafanye tena yawe mzuri zaidi the things that we were doing perfect life then basi katika hali ya maandalizi with this moment of preparation tutagusia neno linasema ushirika we we'll just talk a little word that says unity maana tunapokuwa kwenye mkutano because when we go to a conference tunakuwa kwenye ushirika it's a unity hapo tunakutanana kutoka pande huku na kule there we gather from different places na hapo tunazirisha ule umoja and we unitize ourselves na tunazirisha kule kufanya kazi kwa pamoja. And we bring and increase as working together. Kwa nini ushirika uwepo? Why do we need unity? Yapo mambo yanafanya sisi kuwa na ushirika. There are some stuff that make us have unity. Jambo la kwanza ni kuingizana. The first thing is encouraging each other. Kuna wale ambao wanikwisha kupiga hatua. There are some people that have already taken a step. Kuna wale bado wangali katikati. And there are some people are just in the middle. Na wengine wako mwanzo. And others are just in the middle. Sasa tunapokutanana katika hali ya ushirika panakuwa na kuhimizana. There is encouraging each other. Yule ambaye alikuwa amebaki nyuma anajisikia tena kusogea mbele. Now they feel like taking a step. Amen. Tunapokuwa katika ushirika unity, unakuwa vile vile na kutiana moyo. Maana huduma ambayo tumepewa si huduma rahisi. Ni huduma ngumu kati ya huduma zote ambazo mwanadamu anatumia. Maana ni huduma ambayo unapigana na vitu usivyoviona. Things that you don't see. Ni bora zaidi kupigana na kitu ambacho unakiona. It's better to fight something you see. Kuliko kile ambacho hauoni. Instead of something you don't see. Sasa hii huduma ambayo tunaitwa kufanya. Now this job of being given. Ni huduma ngumu. It's very hard. Panakuwa na kukata tamaa. There is losing hope. Panakuwa na kujikata. There is losing yourself or denying yourself. Panakuwa na kuchoka. There is getting tired. Na wakati mwingine watu wanasema ninavitoka hebu. Lakini katika hali ya ushirika tunapokutanana kwa pamoja inatufanya tutiane moyo. Amen amen. Katika hali ya ushirika panakuwa vile vile kuimarisha afya ya kiroho. Ya wana maombi. Uh, to pray worry. Maana ushirika ambao tuko tunatarajia kuufanya wa wana maombi. Because the unity we preparing to do is Sasa the unity to pray katika Now when we uh, we gather together in unity. Hapo kila mmoja anaimarika kiafya ya roho. Everyone gets healthier in spiritual realm. Sio roho hii ya ndani ambayo ina damu Not lakini inaongea roho ya kimungu. Amen amen. Maana hapo tunapokutanana panakuwa na kunyoyana. Kunyoyana ni Maana huduma zinakuwa ziko tofauti. Karama zinakuwa ziko tofauti. Alafu hizo karama zote hizo huduma zote 
sinaingiana. Amen amen. Na hapa sasa hapa nakuwa neno linasema chuma unoa chuma. And that's when we hear this word that says a uh, and metal sharpens another metal. Wezi kuwa mwombaji hodari. You can be a prayer warrior. Usipokutanana na wengine katika ushirika. Without uh, gathering together in unity with others. Wezi kuwa mwombaji shujaa. You can be a strong Karama yako isipokutanana na karama zingine. If your gift does not uh, gather with other gifts. Amen amen. amen. Ndio sababu nasikia Mungu anasema wanakuja kushota. That's why you see that God said they come. Watakuja na karama zao. They come with na their gifts. Na sisi tutakuja na karama zetu. And we also bring our gifts. Alafu hapo patakuwa na kupeana. And that's when we exchange. Amen amen. Tutapeana karama. We will give each other. Sasa hizo karama tutazipeana katika hali ya kujitayarisha. Wale ambao watakuwa makini watapokea kitu. Na wale ambao watazubaa wanaweza kupoteza hata na vile ambavyo wako. Amen amen. Amen. Hizo ni sababu zinafanya sisi tuwe katika ushirika. Those are the reasons that make us come as a unity. Na huu ushirika ambao tunaufanya ni amri toka Mungu. It's a rule or a commandment from Mungu God. Mungu mwenyewe ametuamuru tufanye hivyo. God himself has commanded us. Maana Biblia inasema muzikoze kukusanyika. Because the Bible says always God. Amen amen. Hiyo ni amri toka Mungu. That's a commandment from God. Tusome kwanza. Let's read. Matendo ya mitume. Acts. Sura yake ya pili. Chapter two. Mstari wake wa makumi ine na mbili. Forty two. la mungu linasema. Wakawa wakidu. Katika fundisho la mitume. Na katika ushirika na katika kuumega mkate na katika kusali amen amen shirika that is fellowship walikuwa pamoja they came together katika hali ya kuwa pamoja in that realm of being together maneno ya mungu they told each other the word of god mitume. from apostles na katika hali ya kufundishana maneno ya mungu Biblia inasema walimega mkate kwa pamoja katika hali ya kuchangia pamoja inafanya tena ule uwepo wa Mungu ule upendo wa Mungu uzidi kuzirika kwetu amen amen ndipo siri katika kuchangia kwa pamoja ndio sababu kanisa ambazo zimeendelea kiroho lazima wawe na huduma ya kuchangia kwa pamoja angalau mara moja kwa mwaka basi na hapo utakuta watu wote wanafurahi na wanazirisha ule upendo wa Mungu amen amen sio tu kugawa mkate lakini walikuwa wakiomba kwa pa katika hali ya kuomba zipo nguvu ambazo tunazipokea na ni hizo tutazungumzia jioni ya leo na hizo nguvu ndizo zinatusaidia sisi na kuwasaidia wengine Amen amen. amen. Eh, tutaenda wa Korintho wa kwanza 16. We we'll go to 1 Corinthians. Mstari wake wa makumi mbili na mbili. Mm-hmm. 1 Corinthians 16. la Mungu linasema. Mtu awaye yote. Asiye mpenda Bwana. Na awe amelaaniwa. Maana yake mara Amen. Maranatha. Tunasikia neno hilo hata makanisa mengine yanaandika kanisa Maranatha. Maranatha ni mtu asiyempenda Mungu ambaye analaaniwa. Amen amen. 
If you don't love him, then know you're already cut. Amen, amen. Kwa hiyo tunapokusanyika so when we gather, tunapokuwa kwa pamoja when we come as inadhihirisha upendo wetu kwa Mungu increases the love of God Amen Amen inadhihirisha upendo wetu it increases our love for God Na ndio sababu watoto wa Mungu wanapokutana And that's why the children of God when they gather si po Mungu kutoka Mungu zinafanya kazi There are powers that come from God Na kwa sababu shetani anajua siri hii Lazima na yeye ajipendeze. Ndio sababu Biblia inasema mahali watoto wa Mungu wanapokusanyika naye shetani anakuwepo. Kumbe tunapokuwa kwenye mikutano. Tunapokuwa kwenye ushiriki. When we come together in unity, we have to be very careful. Kwa sana dakika. Shetani anaweza kuvuruga mambo. The devil can destroy everything. Amen amen. Usishangae tunaweza anza vizuri. Lakini tunafika nafasi ambapo mambo yanavurugika. Hata watu wanakata tamaa wanasema kwa nini nimekuja huko. Nimepoteza muda wangu buri. Ningejua ningebaki nyumbani. Huyo ni nani? Ni shetani. Amejipenyeza kwa sababu ya kuwa makini. Amen amen na kusudi tu kushinde shetani ama tuwe makini jambo la kwanza ni kuwa wanyenyekevu tunapokuwa wanyenyekevu tutashinda hali zote maana mtu ambaye ni mnyenyekevu anatembea katika hali ya kuyafanya mapenzi amen amen na kitu cha kwanza kitaonesha mtu ni mnyenyekevu kwa Mungu. Jambo la kwanza ambalo Mungu ataona sisi waombaji tuko wanyenyekevu. Ni utakaso. Amen amen. Hilo ni jambo la kwanza. Mtu anapoitwa muombaji. Hakikisha unajikaza kuishi maisha mata Make sure you're living a righteous life. Maisha ya utakaso. A life of prayer. Maisha ya kukimbia dhambi. A life of running away from sin. Muombaji anakuwa mtu ambaye anatamani kila saa. A prayer is a person who wants to always speak to God. Kila saa asikie sauti ya Mungu. Every time to hear the voice of God. Na kwa sababu maisha yake ni ya kumsogelea Mungu kila wakati. That is a life of going closer to God all the time. It's important for them to be righteous. Maana Biblia inasema Hakuna kitapu kinajisi kinyonge kinaweza kumsogelea Bwana. Nothing that will come closer to that. Amen amen. Hilo ni jambo la kwanza. That's the first thing. Ambalo linatupatia assurance sisi waumbaji. That gives us assurance as prayer warriors to be accepted by God. Na tukiwa katika hali ya utakaso. And when when we in that righteous role kila kitu takachomomba Bwana. Anything that you pray from God. Lazima kitatimu. It has to be fulfilled. Amen amen. Amen. Ndio sababu mwimbaji mmoja akasema. That's why one singer say. Elia. Elijah. Alikuwa mtu kama na sisi. Was a person just like us. Alimuita Bwana. He called God. Mvua ikanyesha. And rain. Alimuita Bwana. He called God. Moto ukashuka. And fire came down. Sasa sisi hatuwezi can we do the same? We can also do the same. But the problem is the life of righteousness. We cannot do that. Amen. Amen. Mombaji ni mtu. A prayer warrior is a person. Awezi kubaki na doa yoyote ndani ya mkwazi. They can't stay with any spot in their heart. Mtu anapo mkwazi. When a person anoints them. Atapanya mkwazi. They will do everything in their power to come closer to them. My friend, I did that. Please forgive me. If they know that they were in that room, they will be humble so they can fulfill that righteousness. Righteousness to a prayer warrior. It's a stand. Ambayo tunatembea na. 
that we work with. And that's what shows our life as prayer warriors that is fulfilled. It's good. Amen, amen. Amen. A prayer warrior is a person ambaye kila wakati anatamani kusikia ama kusoma neno la Mungu. Every time they want or they yearn to hear the voice of God and read the word of God. Maana maombi yake yatokana vile vile na neno la Mungu. Because their prayers come from the word of God. Yale anayoyazungumza yanatokana na neno la Mungu. Everything they talk about it comes from the word of God. Ndio sababu Biblia inasema That's why the Bible says Una vimu mtakao uto. The prophecy that you Lazima tuuchunguze kama unaenda sambamba na neno la We have to see if it goes uh, uh, according to the word of God. Amen amen. Amen. Neno la Mungu ni maisha. The word of God is life. Sio kusikia tu. It's not just listening. Sio kusema. It's not just saying. Lakini ni maisha. It's life. Na haya maisha ndio yanamfanya shetani atuogope. That's what makes the devil fear us. Hatuogopi kwa sababu tunasoma neno. He doesn't fear us because we read the word of God. Hatuogopi kwa sababu tunaimba nyimbo za utukufu. He doesn't fear us because we sing praise. Lakini anatuogopa kwa sababu ya maisha yetu ya utakatifu. But he fears us because of our righteous life. Ni hapo shetani anaogopa na kuwa mbaya. That's why the devil is scared and goes away from us. Amen amen. Amen. Unajua? You know, wakati Elisha amefariki When El, um, Elijah, Elisha, died, kwenye kaburi. They put uh, him in a grave. Alafu baada ya kumweka kwenye kaburi. After they put him in a grave. na mtu mwingine amefariki. There was someone also that died. Wakataka wamlete pale kwa Elisha. And they wanted uh, that person to come where Elisha was. Miracle happened. Kwa nini? Why? Alikuwa mtakatifu. Because he was righteous. Na vitakatifu aliweze kuchangana na vi And righteous people cannot be mixed with dirty people. Or righteous That's why our lives as prayer warriors ni maisha tofauti na watu. Kwa nini maisha yetu yawe tofauti? Maana kila saa tunaongea na Mungu. Kila saa Mungu anatutembelea. Every time God uh, comes to us. Ndio sababu tunakuwa tofauti na wengine. That's why we're different from other people. Hata katika hali yetu ya kutumia chakula unaweza kuta tunatumia tofauti na wengine. Hali yetu ya kuongea tunaongea tofauti na wengine. Hali yetu ya kutembea tunatembea tofauti na wengine. Hali yetu ya kuvaa tunavaa tofauti na wengine. Amen amen. Hayo ndio maisha ya mwanamke. That's the life of a prayer warrior. Ni maisha ya kujikata. Hayafanani na ya wengine. Hayafanani na ulimwengu. Ni maisha ya kipekee. Utakuta wakina Elia. Wakina Elisha. Wakina Ezekiel. Ambao waliitwa na Mungu kuishi hayo maisha. Walikuwa wa mtemi. Amen amen. Hawakuwa wanaishi na wengine pamoja. Wametengwa mahali. Ili waweze kujitenga na makosa yote yanaweza tokea. So na kila walipotoka mahali kwenda mahali ambapo watu wako. Ilikuwa ni kitisho. Watu walitetemeka. Watu waliogopa. Watu wa Mungu wanakuja. Are the people of God are coming? What did we do? What did we do? Kama hakuna kubarikiwa. If it's no blessing. Kuna laana. There is a curse. Kama hakuna uzima. If there's no life, there is death. Hivyo ndio vilikuwa kwenye watu. That's what they were thinking. Maana walipomuona mtumishi wa Mungu. Walikuwa wanamuona Mungu. They saw God. Sasa tukiwa waombaji kamili. So when we were prayer warriors that are filled, people will see God through us. Na watu watampenda Mungu. And people will love God. Watatamani waje kwa Mungu. They want to come to God. Maana wanaona kile ambacho kiko ndani. Because they see what inside us. Lakini la ajabu. But what is surprising? Sisi ambao ni waombaji. Ndio wa kwanza kuwa na ushuhuda mbaya. The very first people that have bad behavior. 
kama kuna watu wanagombanaka wa kwanza ni waombaji if the people that fight and they are warring kama kuna watu wanatupianaka wa kwanza waombaji the people that hate others the prayer warriors ajabu sana it's surprising ajabu sana it's surprising lazima tubadilike we have to change na tukibadilika and when we change tutafanya mambo ya ajabu we will do a lot of stuff huo ni mwanzo this is just the beginning mungu amesema Wenda inaweza kuwa lakini kwa siku ya Bwana sasa imefika. We waited for a long time Asa, and now it has been kwamba, Now no. Mungu anaanza kazi. The work has started. Sasa yeah, ataifanya kazi na nani? Ha, uh, who is he going to use to do that work? Wewe na mimi. It's you and me. Ndio sababu. That's why. Ninataka leo tuongee mambo inahusu muombaji. I want us to talk about ama kuboresha about uh, ushirika wake pamoja na muombaji. How a prayer warrior can increase the unity with other prayer warriors. Kama kuna watu wanakuwaka wanashindana. If there are people who compete. Kushindanisha. Compete or compare is prayer warrior. Kwa kwa kuna yaona. You will be seeing that. Sasa tunafika kwenye mikutano. When we go to other conferences. Sitagongana huduma. You will be a competition. Sitagongana karama. You will be competition of gifts. Eh, hey, kuna wale watasema mimi ndio mwenye huduma ya hili. Some people who say this is my job. Mimi ndio mwenye karama ya hili. This is my gift. Wengine hawajui kitu. And others don't know uh-huh. nothing. Lakini Biblia inasema The Bible says kwa moja wanamwambia maji. Some uh, are some are uh, take out the wind and it's all for the glory of amen, God. Amen. 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 Kumbe Mungu akitujalia vipao. Meaning if God gives us gifts. Tusijivunie. Don't be proud. Tusianze kupanda kiburi. Don't start uh, being proud. Mimi kama sijaombea watu mapepo yajatoka. If I have a prayer for people that never want to go. Kama watu matasa hawajatoka. When I have a prayer for people uh Mungu akipatia hiyo neema. If God has given you that gift. Itoze vizuri. Take it very careful. Itumie kwa unyenyekevu. I use it humbly. Na utakuwa msaada kwa watu wengi. And you'll be helped to a lot of people. Na utafanya kazi kubwa. And you will do a great job. Na Mungu atakuandaa kama jeshi. And God will prepare you as a maana ushirika ambao tuko tunaufanya. Because the unity that we doing. Bwana iko na ndama jeshi. God is preparing our soldiers or an army. Kila siku Bwana anasema niko mnafunga. Ah uh, every time God says I'm on the door. Yes. I'm coming. Jua wakati soon. Yesu atakuja. No that when God comes. It will be a war. Amen amen. Amen. Itakuwepo vita. It will be a war. Na tunapoongelea vita lazima pawe na askari. When we talk about war, we si have to have Lazima pawe askari. Sasa wanani watakuwa wa askari so wa Yesu? Ni sisi ambao Bwana yuko naanza kutukusanya. Yuko naanza kututengeneza. It's starting to prepare us. Ni kati yetu kutachaguliwa maaskari. Ambao you will choose soldiers that will work with him. Kupambana vita. To fight the war. Na maaskari wa shetani. With the soldiers of Ambao the devil. Ambao vita ya Armageddon. The war that we call a war of Amen amen. Armageddon. Hiyo ni historia ndefu huenda tutaiongea siku. That's a long story we'll teach about it. Uh, Lakini ninataka nikutie moyo kwamba wewe ni jeshi. But I want to encourage you that you are a soldier. Na mimi ni jeshi. And I'm a soldier. Bwana yuko na tuanga. God is preparing us. Kwa hiyo tusipoteze hii neema. So let's not lose this uh breath. Amen amen. Amen. Katika hali ya kuomba. In the realm of prayer. Unazungumza zipo nguvu kutoka kwa Mungu. I said there is powers from God. Na nguvu hizo tunazipata katika hali tofauti. And those powers we get them in different uh, situations. Lakini kabla nizungumzie hizo nguvu. But before I talk about those powers. Lipo swali linakuja. There's a question that's coming to you. Tuomba ni nini? What's pray? Na kwa nini tuomba? And why do we pray? Amen amen. Tuomba ni nini? What is praying? Na kwa nini tuomba? And why do we pray? 
Nani anaweza nipatie ajibu? Kwa nini niombe? Why do we pray? Mara Mungu anatoa haja ni mtu si bila. Anatoa kila kitu tunahitaji. Kwa nini tuombe? So why do we pray? Na tayari Mungu anajua kile tunahitaji. If God knows what we need, why do we have to pray? The Bible says uh, prayer is a weapon. Na ukienda kwenye hilo swali, utaenda unapata majibu tofauti. You will uh, find different answers. Na hayo majibu ndizo nguvu za Mungu kupitia mambo. And the strength of God through prayers. Na hayo majibu ndio nataka kusoma. And those answers are the ones I want us to talk about. Today. Amen amen. Amen. Na nitakapozungumza nitataka msomaji awe karibu. Kwa kila jibu, kwa kila jibu, Biblia iongee. Mimi si want the Bible to speak. I don't want to speak. Amen amen. Amen. Nataka Biblia iongee. I want the Bible to speak. Usiseme mchungaji alikuwa anaogota na mkichwa yake. Don't say that pastor was getting something from his head. Kwa nini tuombe? Why do we pray? Ndio swali letu la kwanza. That's our first question. Swali la pili kuomba ni nini? Ndio kila mtu anajua. Does everyone know the answer? Is talking to God. Now we're going to the second question. Why do we pray? Jibu Katika hali ya kuomba in the realm of praying maombi inakuwa kinga ya ziki ya shetani prayer is like a shield from the devil maombi yanatukingia na ziki ya shetani prayer shield us from the plans of the devil amen 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 Shetani maisha yake yote ni kutaka kuharibu mwanadamu. The devil all his plan is always to destroy the uh, human. Ni kutaka kumtesa mwanadamu. Is to make human suffer. Sasa katika hali ya kujikingia shetani asiweze kumtesa mwanadamu. Now in that realm of shielding ourselves from the devil. Tunaingia kwenye maombi. Uh, making us suffer. We go to pray. Na katika maombi tunakuwa na nguvu. And through prayers we get power. Na hizo nguvu zinafanya shetani atuogope. And those powers make the devil fear us. Tunasoma Let's read. Wa Efeso 6 Ephesians 6 11 12. Maombi ni silaha ya Mkristo. Uh, praying is a weapon. Ephesians 6 Somme pa. Sita 11 to 12. ili kutafuta kumaliza uzima wetu so they can take away our life. lakini yapo matumaini eti tuvae silaha na ndani ya silaha hizo panakuwa na maombi there is prayers mtu ambaye amejaa nguvu za maombi a person who is full of uh, prayers or power lazima mapepo ya mungu lazima shetani amkimbi the devil should run away from kwa sababu ndani ya Yesu palikuwa nguvu za maombi. Biblia inasema hata bahari iliti. Amen amen. Sasa nguvu za maombi zikiwa ndani yetu. Tutakuwa na mamlaka ya kuponya. We will have authority. Tutakuwa na mamlaka ya kuponya wagonjwa. We will have authority to heal people who have uh, Tutakuwa na mamlaka ya kuponya wagonjwa ambao waliteswa na walozi. We will have authority maana tuna nguvu zaidi ya nguvu because we have power above all power kwa hiyo muombaji ni mtu anahitajika kuwa na vipindi vizuri vya kuomba so prayer warriors have to have a, a better time a good time to always pray 
Na ajabu tunaitwa waombaji lakini tunangoja saa ya kulala tu tunaomba. Na tukipata neema tukiamka kwenye kitanda tu tunaomba. Lakini jua kwamba vita ambavyo unapigana sio vita vya mwili na damu. Na vita ambavyo unapigana ni vita vya kila wakati. Kwa hiyo tuwe na muda mzuri wa kutenga. So always have a good time to separate za Mungu. Tukiwa nyumbani. Angalau dakika tano tunaingia kwenye chumba tunamuita Mungu. Tukiwa kazini. Huko unafanya kazi. Na huko uko naimba mbinguni wanatungojea mbinguni wanatungojea. Amen amen. Tusipoteze muda wote. Mara shetani iko pale ili aweze kutuangamiza kwa wakati Ndiyo sababu utakuta mtu alikuwa mwimbaji wa Lakini baada ya siku chache Muulize kwenye maombi aliendaka Muulize miujiza alifanyaka au nione Kwa nini Shetani alikuiba sana Amen amen Jibu la pili. Maombi umuokoa mwenye dhambi. Kwa ajili ya maombi. Tunaweza kuokolewa kutoka dhambi. Unajua maombi yanafanya watu wengi wakimbie dhambi. Maana najua nikienda kwenye maombi kama nililala na zini kama niligombana siri yangu itatoka Amen amen Anajua siri itatoka Na yeye anapenda maombi Sasa atakachokifanya ni nini Atajaribu kujilinda kila wakati Anajilinda hata kama kali kagarzuka alikuwa kana mdanganya na anakapenda sana akifikiria tu maombi anasema ah nitapea kesho nitapea kesho na anapotea yake hey tutakwenda tukimie sana amen 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 oh Yesu ni watu wake god is good ndani ya maombi kwa nguvu wa lazima tupende maombi sasa na kwamba naona ajabu watu wanakimbia maombi wanatamani tu waingie kanisani lakini kwenye maombi utakuta watu ni wachache siri ni hiyo wanaogopa zile siri zetu wasizijue zile zambi tuko ndani sizijulikani lakini ukitaka kushinda zambi soelea maombi Soma Luka Kumi mstari wake wa 13 Luke 13 Oyo wangu Tunaketi katika nguo za kimajiku na kigunia wakati tuko tunamsimu. Amen. Wakati kunatokea shida fulani. Panatokea ziki fulani. Tunataka kumlilia Mungu. Ndio tunakaa katika vigunia na katika kujipaka masisi kumbuka wana wa Israeli wakati walitaka kuangamiza Mordekai alienda kwa Esther akamwambia wanataka kutuangamiza sisi wote walichofanya ni nini walivaa magunia walienda kwenye maombi na katika hali ya maombi ilifanya washinde hiyo zamu ambayo ilikuwa ya maangamizo ya wana wa Israeli Amen amen. amen. Maombi yana nguvu ya pendo. Prayers have power. Tunapokuwa kwenye maombi, when we pray, lazima tutashinda dhambi. We will overcome sin. 
Jibu la tatu. The third answer. Maombi umponya mgonjwa. Heals uh heals the sick. Ni kweli? Is that true? Maombi umponya mgonjwa. Prayers heal the sick. Tunapokuwa waombaji kamilifu. When we are prayerful. Wagonjwa wakija kwetu. When our sick people come to us. Ni kama vile kafunza tu. It's like just a little bit. You will just touch him and the devil will go away. The sickness will go away. Because that's the assurance. Jesus said the miracles will go away. You will have a miracle. That you will hear the same. That's a promise that we have. So if we're from the right to the right, I'm telling you the right to the right. People will come from the right. Different places, and they will be healed here. Kwa hiyo tujitahidi. So let's try. Let everyone stand in their place. Let everyone stand in their place. So that they can pray. Kwa hiyo tujitahidi. Let everyone stand in their place. So that they can pray. Kwa hiyo tujitahidi. Let everyone stand in their place. So that they can pray. Kwa hiyo tujitahidi. Let everyone stand in their place. So that they can pray. Kwa hiyo tujitahidi. Let everyone stand in their place. So that they can pray. Kwa hiyo tujitahidi. Let everyone stand in their place. So that they can pray. Kwa hiyo tujitahidi. Let everyone stand in their place. So that they can pray. Kwa hiyo tujitahidi. Let everyone stand in their place. So that they can pray. Kwa hiyo tujitahidi. Let everyone stand in their place. So that they can pray. Kwa hiyo tujitahidi. Let everyone stand in their place. So that they can pray. Kwa hiyo tujitahidi. Let everyone stand in their place. So that they can pray. Kwa hiyo tujitahidi. Let everyone stand in their place. So that they can pray. Kwa hiyo tujitahidi. Na yale matendo tutayaona ndiyo uponyaji. Yale matendo tutayaona ndiyo upungulifu. Yale matendo tutayaona ndiyo kuokoa watu. Amen, amen. Ni kweli maombi ya naweza kuokoa mtu. Katika hali gani. Na mna gani maombi yangu ya naweza kuokoa mtu. How can prayers save someone? Namna gani maombi yetu yanaweza kuokoa wengine? How can our prayers save us? Wakati tunawaombea. When we pray for them. Ndugu yangu ni mlevi. My friend is a drunk. Ninachukua zamu ya kumwombea. I take that pledge. Lazima Bwana atafanya jambo. God will do something. Amen. Amen. Hapana muombaji tu kwa siku ya Mungu na siku ya Pasha. Lazima kutenge muda. You have to separate yourself and get a time to pray for other people. Sisi tunabeba mahitaji ya watu wengine. We take needs for other people. Amen amen. Kazi yetu wapendwa sio rahisi. Our job is not easy. Kazi ngumu. It's a very hard job. Nituri lishomeri. Urafisi ni Amen, amen. Amen. Tu kona kazi. We have a job. Tena usi izarabu. And don't disrespect it. It's a big job. Amen. Amen. Ukiwa mumbaji wa kwe. If you are a true, if you're truly a prayer warrior, pastors are scared. Are scared. Kanisa ni na ugo. The church is scared. Wa presidenta wa na ugo. The president is scared. Mahana wa na una mimi kuna. Because they see God in you. Amen. Amen. Tufike kwenye hatua hii. Let's Ndiyo reach that stage. That's what God wants. Tukifika kwenye hiyo level. When we reach that level. Marekani watapata msaada. America will be saved. Maana tutawaona watu watakuja kwetu. Because we'll see people Wa coming to us. Illuminati. Wanozikua. Wa Framaso. Framaso. Watakuja mbele zetu. They will come to us. Wao wanaenda Framaso. Framaso ni bibi Yes, they will come to us. Watakuja kwetu. They will come to us. Lakini kwa sababu zipo nguvu ndani yetu. But that's because we have power in us. Tutawaokoa. We will serve them. Amen amen. amen. Jibu la nne. The fourth answer. Eh, tungali pale kujibu la tatu. Maombi uponya wagonjwa. Yakobo 5:15. Prayers heal the sick. Yakobo 5:15. James 5:15 Na kule kuomba kwa imani utamuokoa mgonjwa yule na Bwana atamuinua hata ikiwa amefanya dhambi atasamehewa amen. Amen. Na kule kuomba and a prayer of faith Lazima muombaji aijenge imani It's very useful for a prayer warrior to build faith. To see on the tree of Oba Oba. Don't just pray just because you pray. Make sure that you have faith. And through that faith, even if that person was born with a sickness, even if that person was born with a sickness, even if that person was born with a sickness, even if that person was born with a sickness, even if that person was born with a sickness, even if that person was born with a sickness, even if that person was born with a sickness, even if that person was born with a sickness, even if that person was born with a sickness, even if that person was born with
God was helped there. Sasa hapa ndipo kuna kuaga na kunishangaza. Now this is where I get surprised. Wakati mwingine tunaweza ombea watu. Sometimes we pray for kabisa ki, kila kitu kinashindikana. We pray for all Na huku tunasema atubu kwanza. And we say let them, kwanza. let them uh, prepare yeah, first. Yeah, the Bible says, if we pray by faith, even if they still do, that God will do that. They don't have to do that. The faith that I have, you make God save that person. Amen, amen. Amen. Kume, tunapo ombea watu. Meaning, when we pray for people, na shida hizo zinatoke, and those problems come, lazima uwe mumbaji ujiswali. You have to ask yourself a question as a prayer warrior. Jee, mimi kama mumbaji, as a prayer warrior, minasimama vizuri, am I really standing well? Minaomba kwa imani. Do I pray with faith? Amen. Amen. Iyo ni bibili. That's the Bible. So, yali la nune, jivu la nune. The fourth answer. Maombi. Prayers. Ukamilisha yale ya siyo weze kana ya weze. Prayers make those things that are not possible be possible. Because prayers. Tunaweza kufungulisha mama mwenye iko tasa toka kuzaliwa kwake ayazalaka. We can deliver a mom who has been barren. Doctors have tried everything. But because of prayers, lakini juu ya maombi, tunaweza kumfanya tasa awe mama wake. We can make a barren woman a mother. Amen. Amen. Kama usiano wetu na Mungu uko vizuri. If we, our relationship with God is well. Matthew 21 12. Yesu akaitwa mama hekalu. Akawafukuza wote waliokuwa wakiuza na kununua hekalu. Akazipindua meza za wabadili fedha na viti vyao waliokuwa wakiuza njiwa amen maombi Yesu alikuwa mtu mmoja Jesus was just one person si vile aliingia ndani ya hekalu alikuta watu ni wengi he entered the temple and found a lot of people ambao peke yake asinga aliweza kufanya jambo that himself wouldn't do anything alikuwa tu mtu wangemshika wanamfunga funga wanatupia kuni lakini kwa ajili ya nguvu za maombi zilikuwa na ndani Yesu aliingia ndani ya hekalu akafanya mambo yasiyowezekana ya Yesu Kumbe katika hali yetu ya kuomba tukiwa timelifu mbele za Mungu kila kitu ambacho hakiwezekani tutakifanya kiwezekani Amen 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 Watu ambao ni maskini tunaweza kuwafanya kuwa matajiri Amen Amen Maombi yanatufanya sisi tuwe na vitu vizuri. Have good things. <coughs> Ni vile salimu. Mm. Yes, Yanataka kufanya kuwa na vitu vizuri. It didn't make you have good things. Kwaano. What's next? Give us an example. Karibu eh, ule wa sahi kabisa. Just give us a very simple example. Kwaano gani? No. Vitu vizuri. Good things. Nyumba gani? Salima alikuwa Afrika. Alikuwa anajiuliza nitalipa nyumba ya watu wale. Analamuka mimi nimekeka iko natoka ngumi za. Lakini juu ya maombi kila siku hapo na kwa kwa. Kila siku kwa maombi Mungu alifungulia tu kanjia. Na saa Mungu alifungula kanjia. Si wote tumeanza ona vitu vizuri. We start, we start. Now we're sleeping in houses that we never thought we would be in. Now we're driving and we didn't even know that we would ever drive. God is prayers. We have to love prayers. Through prayers, everything is possible. We have to love prayers. Matthew. Saba. Seven. Saba. Seven. Matthew seven, seven to eight. Omer ni nani mtapewa? Tafute ni nani mtaona? Bisheni nani mtafunguliwa? 
Kwa maana kila aumae kupokea naye atafutae kuona naye abishae atafunguliwa amen. Amen. Ninakuja swali sasa. Now I'm bring a question. Mtu anakuwa anahitaji ya kitu. Uh, someone has a need. Lakini asiweze kujiliwa but they don't get an answer. They don't get what they need. But when I am an assurance that says, why am I not being given? Why I have not got what I need? Say it. Say it. That's the thing. Say it. 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 Prayer warrior is right. And if you, are, if you live a righteousness life, everything is possible or fulfilled. Amen. Amen. Maombi. Prayers. Ugawanya ekima. Ugawanya ekima. Ama utowa. Umpa mtu ekima. Prayers bring humbleness or give humbleness. Nikweli. Is that true? Katika maombi mtu anaweza kupata hekima. Through prayers, someone can give you hekima. Katika maombi. Who got humbleness through prayer? Solomon. Alimomba Mungu. They pray to God. Katika hali ya kuomba akasema Bwana. And through prayers they said God give me humbleness. Amen amen. Amen. Kumbe katika hali ya kuomba. Through prayers. Hata kama tuko wadogo ndani ya familia Mungu anaweza katupatia okay. hekima tukaonekana watu wakubwa ndani ya familia. Kwa naweza kuwa wazee wako pale. Lakini wazee wanasema kabla fulani hajafika hatutasema nini. Mpaka tusikie neno fulani atasema. Maana ipo hekima ambayo Mungu amekupatia. Amen. Hekima ni mtajiri wa ajabu. Utajiri wa ajabu. It's a great richness. Humbleness is a great richness. Na ndiyo sababu Salomoni. And that's why Solomon. Akuomba vyote. He didn't pray for anything else. Alijua akipata ikima tu. He knew that when he gets humbleness. Atapata vyote. He'll get everything. Kumbe mungu akitupatia ikima. Meaning when we get humbleness. Kila kitu tutakuwa tunakipata. We'll get everything. Maisha mazuri tutakuwa nani. We'll have a good life. Kuishi na watu vizuri tutaishi na. We will live well with people. Tutapenda watu. We will love people. Tutasaidia watu. We will help others. Kila kitu tutakuwa nacho. Everything we will have. Wakati tuko na hekima. If we are humble. Maana Biblia inasema. Because the Bible says. Kumjua Mungu. Knowing God. That's the beginning of. Wa marifa. Na tunapo zungumzia marifa tunawana hekima. And when we talk about knowledge we are. We see humbleness. James 1.5 James 1.5 Lakini mtu wa kwenu aitukumbukiwa na hekima na aombe dua kwa Mungu awapae wote kwa ukarimu wala hakelei naye atapewa amen. Ukikumbukiwa na hekima fanya dua kwa Mungu. If you love wisdom omba Mungu pray to God atakupatia and he will give you Maombi ubadilisha nyakati. Changes situations. Maombi ubadilisha nyakati. Prayers change situations. Ni kweli? Is that true? Mfano ambao uko karibu tena sasa. Give us an example that uh, where the prayers uh, change situations. Bila mfano. Ambao ni wakaribu kabisa na tunaishi sisi. Mfano wa corona. Maombi yalibadilisha ile nyakati. Corona ilingia dunia yote ilikuwa na hope. 
Hakuna kutembea. No one could, could walk out. Amen, amen. Lakini dunia maombi ya watakatifu, dunia nzima, Bwana alibadilisha nyakati. God changed that situation. Leo watu wanatembea. Now people go out there. Watu wanagusana kumili kisiwa. People now can touch themselves. Lakini ule wakati sugu. Mimi na Bwana walikuwa natia bari katikati. Biblia inasema mtakuwa mwili mmoja lakini hiyo siku ilikuwa mimi. The Bible says you will be one body. Mimi ni mmoja, mimi ni wewe. Maombi yanabadilisha nyakati. Prayers change situation. Hiyo tutaikuta Isaya makumi tatu na munane. Isaya wake Isaya makumi tatu na munane. Isaya 38.5 Napenda kuna tusomea juu watu wasike kapi natoka bibiria. Enenda ukamwambie Ezekia. Bwana mungu wa Daudi baba yako asema hivi. Mimi nimeyasikia maombi yako nimeyaona machozi yako tazama nitaziongeza siku zako kiasi cha miaka 15 amen ilikuwa nyakati ngumu kwa Ezekia alikuwa na mgonjwa tu wakati yake roho lakini kwa ajili ya maombi Bwana alibadilisha nyakati akasema na kuongeza ngine miaka Amen amen. Amen. Kumbe hata tuwe katika hali ngumu ya namna gani. Tukiomba na kusali na kufunga. Bwana atabadilisha kitu. Amen. Amen. Ndio sababu Musa anawaambia Waisraeli. That's why Moses said to the Israel. Au oh, Misri, upeti. Those Egyptians, you won't see them again. Amen. 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 Eti farasi na wapata farasi nini? Amen watu wa bari. Wote wakaishia bari. Amen. Bwana anabadilisha nyakati. Amen. Walikuwa katika nyakati ya kulia Musa unakuja kutuanga bila. Kuna kufa. Walipoguka bari ya Shamu. Biblia inasema Mariamu akachukua ngogo wakaimba wimbo wa Musa. They started singing. Amen amen. 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 Lazima Bwana abadilishe nyakati. God has to change situation kama tunaomba katika roho if we pray through spirit, spirit and truth mnane mm. hey. maombi usaidia wengine prayers help others tunapo waombea kwa ajili yao when we pray for them maombi yanasaidia watu wengine prayers help other people hii inakuwa jukumu kwetu this is a job Ombea familia yako. Pray for your family. Ombea marafiki zako. Pray for your friends. Ombea ndugu zako wengine. Pray for your other Ombea relatives. Ombea yako. Pray for your country. Ombea viongozi wa nchi yako. Pray for the leaders of your country. Hiyo itasaidia. That will help. Amen. Amen. Wa Korinto wa 2:11. 2 Corinthians 1:11. Bwana ametupatia zawadi. Tunazo karama za kuombea wengine. Kwa hiyo tusijifunge funge nazo. Tuombee wengine. Ili watu wapate kumshukuru. So wengine waombaji. Ni waombaji wa wivu. Wanapoka na wivu ya kuombea wengine. Mimi niko naombea wanabarikiwa. I pray for them and they get blessed. Wengine wacha kuwa na magari, majumba. They have cars, they have houses. Na mimi ninga na lala mkanyumba kamusonge. And I'm still having this small house. Mimi ah, mimi siwezi kuwaombea. I won't pray for them again. Hiyo sio ya kwako. That's not yours. Wewe fanya tu kazi yako. Just do your job. Uliipa huko kikozi. You have been called. 
Amen, amen. You were called to be a worker, so just do your work. Many of us are blessed. Everything else, you'll be blessed later. Maombi uonyesha nguvu ya Mungu. Prayer show the power of God. Hiyo ni tisa. Tunataka maliza. We are going to finish. Maombi uonyesha nguvu ya Mungu. Naona gani wapenda? Prayer show the power of God. How? Namna gani maombi yanaweza kuonyesha nguvu ya Mungu? How do prayers show the power of God? Through miracles. Kupitia nini? Through what? Eh <coughs> Mama ni osha lala. <laughs> Namna gani maombi yanaweza zihirisha nguvu za Mungu? How can prayers show the power of God? Maombi yanaweza wanapona. Wanapona. Think uh, people will be healed. Bwana anaweza kushindia na vita. God can uh, help us overcome walls or fighting. Bwana anatushindia na matsiba. God can help us overcome. Hizo zote ni nguvu za Mungu. Those all of those are power of God. Kumbuka wana wa Israeli walipotoka Misri. Mali poto walipofika. Kwa sababu walikuwa na Mungu. Kila walipo muita Mungu. Ilizirisha nguvu za Mungu. Na watu walisema. Wale watu wana Mungu tofauti. And people say those people have a different God from ours. Soma wa falme. Kwa kwanza. First King. Kumi na saba. Seventeen. Makumi mbili na moja. Twenty one. Makumi na mbili. Stretched himself out on the child three times and cried out to the Lord and said, O oh Lord my God, I pray, let this child's soul come back to him. Then the Lord heard the voice of, of Elijah, and the soul of the child came back to him, and he revived. Amen. <laughs> Yale mamlaka ambayo Elisha ameyatumia yametoka wapi? Kwa nani? Kwa Amen amen. Yale mamlaka yametoka kwa Elisha. Kumbuka walipovuka Yordan. Remember when they crossed the river of Jordan. Ndipo Elisha Elia amemwachia Elisha ma That's where Elijah gave Elisha the story. I have good learning. Leo, Jibu la kumi na lamuisho. Ah, ten ten answer. Ma omi. Prayer show the power of God. Amen. Amen. Show the power of God. Amen. 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 Philippians 4, 6 and 7. Ukikosa amani ndani ya If you don't have peace in your life. Mazingira yote yenyewe uko yemo unaona unakosa amani. In any 
don't look for peace somewhere else. Go in prayer. Go bring a uh, peace. Go in prayer. All our needs. Don't be anxious. Is for Ipo kitu wa umbaji tunakuwaga tunasahau. Tunaweza sali. Tunaweza omba. Lakini tunashimba kushukuru. Na hii nafanya maumbi yetu ya sikamilike sampu. Lazima baada ya kusali. Baada ya kuomba. Shukuru. Baada ya kuomba. You are praying for me. Now start thanking God. I thank God. Because I know my need has been When you haven't even seen the answers. Baba, mimi nataka unipe mume. God, I want a, a husband. Ambaye atanisaidia maisha yangu. That will help me in Ata my life. Atanikubalia kufanya kazi yako. That will let me do your work. Unamaliza maumbi yako. You finish your prayer. Baba, nashukuru kwa sababu. Ba- Inampata mume mkini. God, mkumi. I thank you. Because I've got a husband. Ishi maombi kama vila unamuona. As if you've seen that husband. Amen, amen. 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 Hey. Vipo vitu vinashinda kujibiwa juya kutokujua kuomba. Yes, Tunaomba vibaya. Yes, I've seen that I've not answered because we don't pray well. Ishi maombi. Unasikia Madeleine? Are you hearing Madeleine? Unasikia? Have you heard? Grace unasikia? Have you heard? Darlene unasikia? Chiza iko wapi? Hapi? Mko mnasikia ba 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 pia baba. Are you hearing my girls? Musitusumbue mimi nataka bwana. Don't disturb me that I want to have. Tendee mwenyewe. Go yourself. Eh? Mwenyewe. Yourself. Alafu uombe ushukuru. And then pray and thank God. Basi ninamalizia nikisema hivi. Bwana naona jandari mara kwanza. I feel the rush of God. Ninamalizia nikisema hivi wapi. I feel it like this. Tunaandaa mkutano. We are preparing a conference. Na katika hali ya maombi tunayomuomba Mungu. And through praying as we pray. Najua Mungu atatuwezesha na atatutia nguvu. I know God will strengthen us. Na ikiwa Mungu atatutia nguvu. Ndipo vitu Mungu anahitaji.